Okay. Five more videos. This time we're going into the transformations uh, section, and we're looking specifically we're looking at the Cytosome enlargement. So the big triangle is a scale factor enlargement of the smaller triangle. Find x and y. Okay. So you can see if you compare the like sides, the base side goes from four centimeters to three centimeters. So it's obviously got three times bigger. So that means that y is also going to get three times bigger. So y is the scale factor of three times the, the height which is three. So y is going to come out as nine centimeters. Now if you want to go backwards that means you're going to have to divide by three or times by a third. I like to think of it as times by a third and in case on the because on the harder questions having these as opposites or inverses or reciprocals sorry is uh, better so actually in this case x is just going to be uh, 15 times a third or 15 divided by 3 which is just 5 centimeters so I've got 3 times bigger or 3 times smaller in this case the big trapezium is a scale factor 4 finding x, y and z well compare the like sides and that's got 4 times bigger so y is going to have to be four times smaller. So y is obviously got to be two centimeters here. You can just do that mentally. And the five is going to get five times bigger. So the x is going to be 20 centimeters. And then we've got to compare the angles. So well, actually with an enlargement, what's funny is that the, the, the uh, angles are preserved. Only the lengths are changing. If the angles change, the shape would look different. And it doesn't look different. It's a similar shape. And um, it's just a different size. And that must be similar means the same but different size. So actually, Z stays, like all the other angles, actually stays at 60 degrees as well. And that's a really important fact. Let's go on to here. Enlarge this L by scale factor 2 about the point. Well, often people lose marks on this type of question because um, they can enlarge a shape scale factor 2, which is fine, it's just double size, except they get it in the wrong place. If there was no center of enlargement, it was fine, you could fit the double size shape anywhere on this grid and it would be easy. But because we've got center of enlargement, we've got to work out exactly what's going on. Let me switch to pink. Well, basically, you're just going to move corners. I'm going to move this corner. So to get from the center of enlargement to the corners corner, I've had to do a step of 2 and then 1. So if I have to repeat that, if it's got double size, it's going to get double distance away from the center. So 2 and 1, repeat it again, 2 and 1. So this corner has actually moved there. Now to get to this corner, let's change the color, let's do it in blue. This corner, to get from the center of enlargement to that bottom right hand corner, I've gone 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1. Repeat it again because it's a scale factor 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1. Actually, that bottom right hand corner has moved there. Let's choose red. Let's choose this top corner. We don't need to move every corner because actually you can kind of guess where the shape's going to go now. But let's just move one more corner to get the idea. It's 2 across and 1, 2, 3, 4 up. Repeat it again. It's got to be double scale factor 2. 2 across, 1, 2, 3, 4 up. So red has moved there. Now we can draw our new shape in. Let's do it with this. Goes from there to there. Goes across the bottom. It's got to go two up because it's doubled in height. It's got to go two this way. And it was a gap of two, so I'm now going to go up a gap of four. And like that. Okay, so now it's drawn. I've drawn it double size, but I've also drawn it in exact position by checking where the corners move to. Didn't need to do all of those corners because you could have actually just um, moved one, and the rest of the shape follows along. There is one point I'd like to make. If I just choose a grey line here, if I actually, if we look, what's happened? If I draw lines going from my corners 
and actually if I go through the corners the corners all actually are perfectly in line with each other from the centre of enlargement so that's another way you can do it, these are called ray lines it's a bit like I'm shining a torch or exploding something out from the centre and it's gone out and this is the shadow created by that first shape ok let's move on to the next one So it's enlarged shape by scale factor half. Well, it's half is basically the opposite of double. It's going to shrink, so it's going to go half size, 0.5. So how do we get from this corner back to here? Well, it's gone 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2 and 4, so it's got a half in size. So I'm only going to go 1 up, not 2 up. And I'm not going to go 4 along, I'm going to go 2 along. OK? And then I can do the same thing. I can just... Now I've only one, one corner correctly, but everything else is just going to be half size. So instead of one, two, three, four, five along, actually I'm going to be two and a half along. There. And I can check how that works. So from this corner it was two, and then two, four, six, eight, nine along to my centre of enlargement, so I move to go one, four and a half. The height of the shape is two, four, six high, so when I'm half that, it's going to go one, two, three high. So that corner is going to move there. Instead of two squares along, it's going to just be one square along. So I've got a half size shape. Let's draw it all in. Try to be as accurate as possible. And there's my shape, half size. I could draw the ray lines in, just to see whether I've got it in the right place. The corners are all in line as well. Okay, so I've got the blue shape. It's half the size and half the distance from our scale factor, uh, from our center of enlargement. And here we go. So now we've got to describe fully the center, um, describe fully the translation. This should say transformation. Describe fully the transformation that takes. Describe fully the transformation that takes. Uh, a onto B. Well, usually these are three marks, so you have to th say three separate points. It's obviously an enlargement, okay, so that's worth one mark. Now, we need to know the scale factor of the enlargement. So it was three along, it's now three, six, nine, it was two high, it's now two, four, six high. So the scale factor is three, it's got three times bigger. But I need to mention the last fact, and that's actually I've got to work out where the center of enlargement is. Now the way to do that is just work backwards. It looks like it's going to be the origin here, but let's just check. Let's draw lines going from all my corners, from the bottom right corner to the bottom right corner. All the corners here, you can see they're all converging on this point here. So that means that must be where the center of enlargement was. So we've got to say that center of enlargement, and in this case it's zero, zero. So I have to say three distinct pieces of information to describe it fully. Okay, so not just enlargement would be good enough, the scale factor is also not good enough. You have to say where the center of enlargement is too. Three bits of information for this. Okay?